In this video, we will learn how to add materials in Comsol Multi Physics. Open Comsol. Click on the blank model to create a new model. Press Ctrl S to save the file. Name the file Bouncing Ball. Click on Save. As the name says, we will create ball, a ground, assign materials to the ball and the ground. Then add some physic rules to make the ball bounce off the ground. First let's create a ball. On the top bar, click on Add Component. Choose the very first option, 3D Object. On the top bar, go to Geometry. Click on Sphere to create the ball. In the Settings window, we will set the position of the ball as 10 meters high. So we will keep X and Y 0 while put 10 in the Z position. Click on Build Selected. Now, again, as a reminder, it is a good habit to use parameters. You want to put variables instead of number into the boxes. On the left, go to Parameters 1. Set the variable name as Radius. The expression is 1 meter. The unit should be in square bracket. We also want to create some more variables. X0 for position in X axis, Y0 for position in Y axis, and Z0 for position in Z axis. The values are all zero. Now go back to sphere. Change 1 meter to radius variable. The position should also be changed. X is x0, y is y0, and z is z0 plus 10. On the top bar, click on block to build the ground. Again, go to the parameters to set up some variables first. Width variable will be 10 meters. Unit in square bracket. Depth variable will be 10 meters. Unit in square bracket. Height variable will be 1 meter. Unit in square bracket. Go back to block 1, put the variables in. Width for width. Depth for depth and height for height. You also want to change the position base from corner to center. The position should change to x0, y0, and z0. Click on build selected. Click on Zoom Extents. Now let's add material to the ball and the ground. On the top bar, go to Materials. On the top left, choose to add materials. On the right side, you can see a window pop up. Click on the small triangle on the left of built-in to see the materials list. Click on the second material acrylic plastic. Click on Add to Component. Similarly, click on the sixth material, Aluminum. Click on Add to Component. Click on X icon to close the Material tab. In the Material tree, click on Acrylic Plastic. In Settings, change the selection from All Domains to Manual. Click on the ground to deselect it. Go to Aluminum from the Material tree. Choose the ground to add the material to it. Now congratulations! You are done. You just assign the materials to the objects. Control S to save the file. See you in the next tutorial on how to add physics into the model.